Hi everyone, welcome back to Kids Church. So this week we're going to take a little break from the Jesus Storybook Bible because last week we learned about someone named Jacob. Does everyone remember Jacob from last week? So we learned about Jacob when he was older, when he married Leah and then he married Rachel. But Mrs. Laporta gave us this fun book about um, people in the Bible when they were young like you. So I have a little story today all about Jacob and it's just this one page so it's not very long but I thought you would like to know about Jacob as a boy and how he got to the place where he went to his uncle Laban and then ended up marrying Leah and Rachel. So Jacob's mom her name was Rebecca so we're going to start learning a little bit about when Jacob was a boy. So as Rebecca rested by the door of her tent she thought of the difference between her twin sons. So Jacob was a twin. His brother was Esau. Esau was so like his father, for Isaac too in his younger days had been very independent, full of daring, and always out hunting. Jacob was like her, gentle-mannered and affectionate, interested in others. Her plan, she felt, was right. And, when she, and she would proceed with it tomorrow. Jacob, though the younger twin, would make a much better leader of the tribe than Esau. After all, hadn't Esau sold his birthright to Jacob for a bowl of soup? That showed how little Esau thought of the honor. The next day, Rebekah called Jacob and told him of her plan. Isaac, she said, had sent Esau to hunt deer and would appoint him his successor when he returned with the meat. So Rebekah dressed Jacob in Esau's clothes and placed goatskins on his hands and neck to make his smooth skin seem hairy like Esau's. For Isaac was old and his eyesight was failing. Then she cooked a meal and bade Jacob to take it to his father. At first, Isaac was suspicious. The voice was not like Esau's. But when he touched Jacob's hands, his doubts disappeared. They were hairy. So Isaac blessed Jacob and appointed him his successor. When Esau discovered what had happened, he threatened to kill his twin brother. Rebekah therefore sent Jacob off to his uncle Laban in Haran. So there we learn that's why Jacob had gone to his uncle. One night during his journey to Haran, Jacob had a vision as he slept. He dreamed of a great ladder reaching up to the heavens with angels ascending and descending on it. And God appeared to him in his dream, promising that he and his descendants would possess the land on which he lay. The next morning, to commemorate his dream, Jacob built there a memorial pillar. In Haran, Jacob went to work for Laban whose daughter Rachel he married. He grew prosperous and fathered 12 sons. Eventually he would return home to Canaan and succeed Isaac as head of the tribe. That he was truly a worthy successor is attested by the subsequent history of Israel. 11 of the 12 tribes of Israel trace their ancestry to and name themselves for 11 of Jacob's 12 sons. The twelfth tribe of Israel traces ancestry to Ephraim and Manasseh, sons of Joseph, who were grandsons of Jacob. So I wanted to tell you that story of Jacob because Jacob's very important when it comes to our Old Testament knowledge and knowing where Jacob was before he got married and then he marries Rachel. And now we can go with the forward in the Jesus Storybook Bible next week and learn more about Jacob and his 12 sons. So that's where we're headed next week. I hope you all had a great week and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.